So you might be wondering which Linux distro to use to write some code. Well, that's exactly why I'm here to help you out to choose the best Linux distro in 2020 and get started coding. There are tons of Linux distros in the market and every Linux can be used for coding. But what matters to the end user is to have a distro that is more powerful, faster and supports for a long time. This guide shows the top three, the best Linux distros in 2020 that you should use for coding. These distributions of Linux, which I will be showing in a few minutes, are merely based on my experience and liking. From computer science students to basic users who are willing to learn a program or wanted to familiarize with a Linux operating system, then these distros would be helpful for them. Before getting started, if you are the new viewer on this channel, my name is KSK. I make a versatile tech videos which are related to computers and smartphones. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get post notifications. Let's get started. Alright, so the first from the list of top three, we are having KDE Neon. This Linux distribution is made by the community of KDE. It is based on Ubuntu LTS release and this way you can install any Ubuntu package on KDE Neon hassle-free. One of the liking features of KDE Neon is that it comes with the latest Plasma desktop environment which is minimal and faster. The desktop is so clean and neat with bare minimum packages are pre-installed. The Plasma user interface is pretty snappy. So switching between applications or multitasking is pretty fast. Using a scroll bar on the taskbar would let you quickly jump to any application in a blink of the eye. From the app drawer to taskbar, all the icons, the menu bar has a richer look. If you're coming from Windows 10, then you would love KDE Plasma. It gives you numerous options to customize the user interface according to your fancy. Now, when it comes to coding, I have been using KDE Neon for 20 days to learn Java programming, and I use IntelliJ and it works perfectly fine. You can almost run any text editor or IDE depending on which programming language or framework you chose to work. For instance, you can install the Autumn text editor from a terminal by typing a few commands. You can install any toolkits like compilers or interpreters using Aptitude or the default KDE package managers very easily. The big thing I have noticed in KDE Neon is that there may be 0% crashes you would encounter. This is a super stable Linux desktop that I have ever used. Thanks to the Plasma user interface, even if you have a tons of things running in the background or foreground like compiling or building, KDE Neon can handle anything you throw at it without any hiccups. Ubuntu 2004 LTS is one of the most popular Linux distro out there in the market that is considered to be as the king of distros when it comes to supporting. From beginners to Linux professional users, everyone uses it as a primary OS. Ubuntu Desktop provides a long-term support by updating the packages from time to time basis. Since it's based on Debian, it uses the Deb Package Manager to install various packages. It also supports a Snap Package Manager which are simple to use and quite reliable. Ubuntu is specifically designed for programmers. It has a large collection of software packages that are available in the repositories that is best suited for development. Ubuntu Desktop offers a different flavors of desktop environments. The default GNOME edition of Ubuntu is widely popular and used by many people. It has a minimal user interface and a very easy to navigate across a system. I have been using Ubuntu for 7 years on my primary computer for coding. Using Ubuntu Linux, I learned C, C++, Python, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The tools it offers are full of exuberance. From building custom rounds for Android to deploying an Android application or creating a brand new website is very easy. Due to the vast support of Ubuntu, any problem you face within the system can be fixed by a few searches on the internet. You can ask the Ubuntu community and find an answer to your question in a few minutes. Last but not the least, we are having another most popular Linux distro called a Fedora. Do you know the creator of the Linux operating system uses Fedora? So if he uses it, then there's something special about it. By the time of recording this video, Fedora Workstation version 31 is the latest stable release. This distro is supported by various software companies that provide a third-party applications. Like Ubuntu, Fedora has a large collection of software tools that can be used for developing or building software programs. 
Fedora's workstation is merely dedicated for developers, which is reliable, user-friendly, and powerful operating system for your laptop or desktop computer. It supports a wide range of audience from students to professionals in corporate environments. Now, Fedora comes with a sleek user interface and is powered by the GNOME 3 desktop environment. GNOME is built with developer feedback and minimizes distractions, so you can concentrate on what's important. Fedora provides a CLI tool called a DNF, previously it's known as YUM, to manage or install packages from the terminal. Since Fedora is sponsored by Red Hat, then imagine how the support would be like. The Fedora forum is a very user-friendly platform to share your problem and get them fixed in a few hours. Like Ubuntu, Fedora is pretty stable and most importantly, it comes with open source components which make a perfect choice if you're a diehard fan of open source. So these are my top three a favorite list of Linux distributions for coding in 2020 that you should use for learning or building software. So let me know what you think about it. If you have any suggestions in your mind, comment down below. Give a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. Peace out. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right, yeah